Hey, what's up studs? Welcome to the new vlog. Today, we're going to GameStop. I need to bring my controller in because I did buy the warranty and it is really bad. Like the Sprint is always screwing with me. So I am gonna bring that in and hopefully get a replacement. Not sure how this is going to work, but I bought the warranty through GameStop. So I expect them to hopefully just give me one. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but we're gonna go find out. And then we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings uh, with Jared to watch the Celtics game, which I'm pretty pumped for. So we're at a GameStop and basically they told me they don't have any new ones, which is what they would use to facilitate the exchange. And no store anywhere near here has one, of course. And then he tells me that the item has been delisted, which I'm inferring means they won't be getting any more because it's delisted because it's not being produced anymore or whatever the deal with what delisted means. I think I have to call their support line and hassle them. I thought it would be so much easier. I really did. That's why I bought the warranty. I never buy warranties on anything. And this may damn well be the last time. Stop by Target real quick first to look for any battle packs. But of course, there are none to be found. What a shocker. They also have a whole end cap of sets now down there. Like a lot of sets. So they are stocked up for Christmas now, I think. But yeah, we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings now. Do they do the Kentucky Derby in Kentucky? Is that is that what they do? Yes. I'm so nervous watching this man. If the Celtics lose, I think it's over. Even though it's only going to be 2-2 if they lose, I think it's over. I spent some amount of night on a Brick Hive stream having a fun time. Got the controller back out because I needed it to play because I did a Twitch stream. In these boxes are something going to Camden, which is a car and a car. Uh, my cousin. I think a couple AATs and then a Bestman Duel and File First Battle Pack and then another thing for Brick 5. This is what I am going to be giving away the rest of the year. A uh, few things, oh wait, I didn't even get the helmets. So all of this stuff between uh, either my October contest or whatever I decide to do with it, um, I'm gonna be giving away throughout the rest of the year. So I'm pretty excited. All of it will be international. So anyone anywhere can enter. I'll cover the cost of shipping. Yeah, that's what I have to uh, to send out to people that earn it. It's not really a giveaway because I'm gonna make you earn it. Some of it's from Mike. I think he gave the A-Wing a Boba Fett helmet and that A-Wing to give away. And then the rest of the stuff is coming from me. So thank you to Mike as well, of course, for, for hooking y'all up. I wasn't gonna watch sell this game, but right now I am very, very glad that I am because I was super nervous. Hopefully they can keep it up. Um, about to film a thing for Ask m &R and then that'll be done. A couple boxes to open here real quick from the United States Postal Service. So I was able to pick up the T-16 Skyhopper from Mercari. I had ordered one of these on eBay maybe a year and a half ago when the order got canceled. So now I actually have one, which is awesome. I think this is a 03 set. I think those are also 03 sets. So it's gonna be a 2003 set there with the T-16 Skyhopper. Classic, classic set. I gotta do a comparison uh, with the 2015 version when I get the opportunity. And then I also picked up this book. I saw like two weeks ago, it was shipped with media mail. So it took forever. I've, I don't think I've ever had anything shipped to me with media mail. It's crazy because it's a book. Um, and don't buy a lot of books. I saw someone on my subreddit post uh, a picture from the back of this and I was like, dude, I don't think I have that book because I have the, the original visual dictionary. I have the new, new one, but I didn't have like this middle edition from 2014. So I went ahead and uh, picked it up for like 20 bucks on eBay, brand new. And I am definitely, I wonder if they have some of the same, I'm going to go through this. I, I would hope not, but there were some errors in that original one. It's kind of cool. They still have like one of those canceled sets that was never released that mini snow speed. I wonder they have it from 2005? Nah, they don't. They also don't, oh yeah, they do. So this is what it was that I had, had never seen because I didn't have this book. It was this pre-release or unreleased prototype set. So that's pretty cool to see now that I see it. But huh, there's all the designers and everything. Making the do-back from 2014, which just reappeared here in 2020. Got some at, -AT models in the background there. Uh-oh. I don't know how much of this I can take, dude. This is too close for comfort, man. Oh boy. Wow, man. Wow. It's Thursday now, and we are going to Walmart. Couple of reasons. One, file first battle pack. Hopefully, they'll have one or two. It says limited stock, so probably just one if they, if I can even find it. And then. They might have some clearance, so I'm gonna go check that out because there have been some Walmarts putting stuff on clearance. I checked my stock checker. It said they should have one Boba Fett for 40 bucks, like the Boba Fett helmet. I don't know why those are on clearance already because as far as I'm aware, those have been selling really well, so I don't know why Walmart's gonna stop selling them, but they are, at least in store. And I wanted some chicken tenders, so it's got out of the house for the day, and when I get back, hopefully Moss Eisley is here. 
DHL is supposed to deliver it today or tomorrow. I'm praying today, but we'll see. If it delivers today, I'm going to do a live stream today. If it delivers tomorrow, I'll do a live stream tomorrow. I'll do the Celtics play tomorrow at 9 p.m., so we'll see how that goes. I guess they're still remodeling here. I don't think this is the clearance aisle. I have ended up in the wrong place. They moved it. Gotta find it. So there were a couple people picking stuff over. It was actually really good deals, but nothing that I wanted or needed, and I didn't see the helmet set that I had really come for. So no battle pack either. I think I'm out of here. I'm gonna get food and leave. It's the price tag for Baby Yoda, but obviously no Baby Yoda. I'm chatting with Sands right now. It's like midnight. Just finished playing COD and uh, waiting hopefully tomorrow for Moss Eisley Cantina to show up. I also did pick this poly bag up at Walmart. I thought it was pretty neat to, to go ahead and buy the Alex and Skeleton poly bag. Not a bad one for $5. You think a CMF is five bucks? What a rip off. Checking in on Friday. Now it's like 1 p.m. And unfortunately, I have things to wait for today. Celtics don't play till nine. And my package with the Masaisa Cantina probably won't show up till like the late evening. So kind of disappointed I didn't sleep in until three today because now I have to kill time. So I'm going to go get a haircut. We're going to go to the mall. And then I'll come back and do my Diagon Alley comparison video that I've been neglecting for the past few days and get that done and then have that all out of the way by the time the Masaisa Cantina shows up. So this just popped up on lego.com for $4 each, limit 50, limit 50, I don't know, they must have a lot, and they are available in store. So this leads me to believe Lego Star Wars CMFs can happen. I ordered 10, if they show up, I'm gonna make a video talking about it. I finally finished the Diagon Alley comparison. I'm very happy to be done with that. It was pretty cool to put the sets together, but I don't really think it's worth getting the older one. Like, I don't know, it's like $600 sealed now, which is insane. And prepare to do the Moss Eisley um, build live stream as soon as Moss Eisley shows up. It should be here within a few hours. The box I got yesterday showed up at 7 p.m., um, so I'm hoping no later than that, and then I can start streaming and then watch the Celtics game while I stream, probably, as much as I didn't want to do that. I got my stream set up. I don't have the thumbnail on there yet because, obviously, I don't have the set, but I'm still waiting. I have everything ready to go so I can stream as soon as possible. The camera's working. Everything's great. I got Diagon Alley's video done and Diagon Alley and everything. Both of them are out of here. For the first time in a long time, my table and my bed are clean at the same time. I'm going to put some, because it's game seven for the Celtics tonight, I'm going to put some jerseys on the, <laughs> the shelf behind me or whatever just to fit the mood for me and then uh right now i'm just going outside to play basketball that burns my nervous energy because god damn i am so nervous you uh, you have no idea no idea so we are we are hitting the outdoors but in case i wasn't clear my size should be here like i don't know any minute like within the next hour it's almost seven o'clock and uh the weight is killing me hopefully it will be here soon it's almost eight o'clock and it's almost dark and still nothing well, no Moss Sizely today for me, or tomorrow, or the next day, not until Monday, because DHL doesn't deliver on weekends. And I called their customer service line, and they told me they tried to deliver today. I'm losing my mind watching Game 7 right now. Moss Eisley on the way, or we'll be here Monday. Here we go. I have been so nervous all day. I am so happy there is, like, a little bit of bleep. I am so happy there is a little bit of breathing room. Kawhi Leonard's a go a foul is coming and Foss with a chance to ice this one. A five-point lead. He's got it. Calmly knocks them both down. The Boston Celtics hang on to win game seven. And they will advance. How about them apples? And for them pretty excited to finally have football back here i've been dying to watch football it's great i gotta wait for tomorrow when uh moss Eisley shows up that's just what i've been waiting for all weekend it sucks i just woke up it's tuesday afternoon and moss Eisley is here time to crack that open gonna make my bed first set up all the stream stuff but i am hyped here we go and there she blows or are she blows it's the cantina I am pretty pumped to build this, looking pretty snazzy with the black box art. The side of the box actually looks kind of cooler than the, the front of the box. It has more color to it. I don't know. But back side of the box, for those of you who didn't watch the review or whatever, and uh, kind of weird. They have a completely blank side, uh, more or less, here, other than a little name down there. That's very odd. But yeah, very reminiscent, obviously, of the canteen, or of the uh, Cloud City set with all the characters on top. I think it's the same size box. I want to say the Cloud City was, like, the same thickness, but it might have been 
thicker. I'm pretty sure the same thickness. But yeah, that's the set. I'm going to get this uh, live stream started and get this thing built because that's what I got to do today. I'm pretty pumped. So I kind of waited too long to start eating my lunch. And like the stream is supposed to start um, any second now. And there's a thousand people waiting. So finish lunch or start stream. I don't know, man. I just did a nine hour Moss Eisley Cantina building live stream. Took me nine hours to build this on live stream, mind you. So I was talking and chatting a lot of the time, but wow. Also, 3,100 concurrent viewers. New record. Holy crap. You guys are insane. Thank you so much. Jeez, man. But yeah, um, I need to go get food now. It's 12.30 a.m. now. And I woke up at like 2 p.m. and started the stream at 3.30 and... I've done nothing but build since then, and now it's done. This is amazing. It's a little after 5 a.m. I thought I'd be done with this video by now, honestly, and I'm just starting to edit the hour of review footage I have for the Moss Eisley Cantina. The set looks really good, but an hour of footage? I'm scared. That's a lot. All right, today we're in the garage for a bin that I had set up not knowing I would be able to just use so easily, but it is my Moss Eisley Cantina bin. I put all, I did this like, I don't know, when did I do this, back in like May? Oh my God, that was my, honestly might've been my favorite vlog when I put up these shelves. Like looking back at it, I just, I liked doing that so much. It gets me excited to move eventually because I, for whatever reason, I just really like the setting up process and filming all that. I don't know, it was just a lot of fun, but anyway. Um, we have all the Moss Eisley Cantina sets very conveniently packed into one bin. Ah! I don't know. My clone walkers. Watching the Celtics Heat game one right now. Pretty happy with what I'm seeing and uh, working on this Moss Eisley video in between. Twitch uh, Warzone stream coming up next for me. Ooh. Bad foul, boy. Wow. Good block, man. Good block. So they've got the $30 advent calendar. No final first battle pack, but... I just wanted to see what was up. I didn't plan on getting anything. Just getting a little food and drink here. Oh, Anakin Starfighter. Of course, they got plenty of those. Well, something weird is happening. They have full price. Full price Lego clearance. It's not even on sale. Except for that, maybe. Everything else is literally the full price it originally was. So, I'm not sure what the deal with that is. If they're just trying to trick people. But, very abnormal for Walmart. Usually, they will actually put it on clearance. Okay, so Timmy and I are about to film the first episode of the Bad Bricks podcast. You can't hear him, but he's there. Uh, we got 33 people waiting. Uh-oh, making everyone waste their time. Jared and I are playing some Modern Warfare, and I'm trying real hard to get a PS5 pre-ordered, man. I got all the tabs open, trying it all. It's not working, man. It's so hard to do. Get me in here. Let's go. Just load. Yeah, tough life trying to get a PS5 right now. We got our PS5, Jared. What do you have to say? <laughs> us three hours to get the ps5 but jared and i we got it pre-ordered jared got his first and i was losing my my crap i was like you piece of crap i hate you you stole my ps5 but then i got one and everything was okay now we're friends again been an honor hey this reminds me of when we stayed up uh to midnight for the 2011 star wars sets you remember that on lego.com even though we weren't buying we just want to see them on there i don't remember that oh we were on skype yeah no for the like uh t6 shuttle uh Bomb Squad pack, Mandalorian pack, yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't remember that. Yeah. You're looking at a work in progress for my thumbnail for the Moss Eisley comparison video, and you may not immediately notice anything is off because I actually did some good Photoshop work, I think. I realized when I was doing the video that I forgot to put the Luke's Lance Beater in the picture. So I just redid that uh, here a couple days after this. I was not setting back up all those minifigures for another thumbnail pick. So what I did was I actually just took I just took a video of this cropped out and put in that Luke's land speeder right here. See, it didn't exist there. There was a big blank spot, and uh, I realized I had forgotten to put the 2014 Luke's land speeder there. So now it exists there. Nobody's, well, now you'll know, but I, I guarantee no one would have noticed had I not pointed out, because it's a small thing in a thumbnail, so it just kind of fits in there, and you don't really notice it. Um, it might be a little off uh, scale, but again, it's not something you're really going to notice or that people are going to pick on, but like, oh, I'm not going to click on this video. I mean, Luke's lands beater it doesn't make sense. Very stoked to have saved myself a lot of time for having to reset everything up with that, and I'm uh, going to wrap up production on this. This is the last thing I had to do for this video. Everything else is uh, done over here. Just got to get the thumbnail done and added. Up at Target. This shouldn't be surprising here, but the Lego selection is pretty full. No clearance and uh, no follow first battle pack. Also, there's a new Junior's X-Wing coming out in January. Can you believe it? 
Oh, that's weird. Is now the time for Jedi Fallen Order? I think it might be. All right, I did it. We got it. I guess we'll be playing it on stream here one of these days. I saw a great tweet. The Celtics now face their biggest enemy, a double digit lead. Double digit lead is bad. Gotta have a stop here. Gotta have a stop. Nope, desperate three, it's going in. Of course. We have a box from Target and I mean, you can guess what's inside. I'm gonna open this on my members only stream though when I build the Yoda lightsabers. We're here at this Walmart for one reason and one reason only. We got front row parking, at least not reserved front row parking. And you know, that must mean it's the lucky day guys. I think we're about to strike it rich. Whoa, that's weird and new looking. I guess the new iOS updates your CarPlay OS. I didn't know that. I feel exposed. They've really widened this aisle. Um, let's see if we're getting lucky today. Probably not. Gotta keep my expectations low, even though it says two to three in stock. What do you know? None to be found. Yep, should be right there. It is not. They have the AAT though. That's a tempting, tempting cop. Still got the barcode out for Baby Yoda, but no Baby Yoda, so. Damn, what a shame. I thought I was gonna. Strike gold. It's a beautiful Saturday and Coles has Final First Battle Packs in stock. I got three out, five hours to kill before the Celtics game. So let's go get some battle packs. And that's gonna be an easy plus four battle packs. Can't can't get any easier than that. Just walk in, walk out. I also ordered four on target.com last night. So that's plus eight for the day, basically. It's Tuesday and I just spent like uh, 45 minutes recording a worst to first video. That might be the longest recording I've ever done for the 2020 sets. That video won't be out till November. So don't get your hopes up, not coming soon. I'm gonna go pick up pizza, but first I need to put wiper fluid in my Mustang because yesterday I was running the wiper fluid and nothing it's been telling me for like well over a month that i'm almost out i'm surprised it took so long to run out because i use it like every time i drive um and so yeah we're gonna go see how the hell that works i've never done that before i bought wiper fluid yesterday so we're gonna go try to put it in it was like three dollars i don't know also i noticed my dad put the boat up and he used a piece of wood that is like missing half the wood i don't know i just wouldn't trust it is all i'm saying anyway how the hell do we open this i think this should be pretty easy though i think this is it that's that's the wiper thing so actually pretty easy also it's a really nice day out it's like 80 degrees and kind of windy so sorry if there's any wind but i think the wiper fluid just goes in there nice it's all pretty clean in here actually and it's now filled to the brim it took that entire bottle to fill that up just got my other four five first battle packs from target.com so the collection grows what do you know i put a case oh it's down there never mind i thought i'd put it out in the garage so wow we have a lot now. I scanned it and they have these on clearance for $9. Unfortunately, there's no like reason for me to buy more <laughs> as much as I'd like to have an army. Like if it was this set, I'd buy it for the snow troopers. But this one, I don't care about the Death Star Trooper. And I definitely don't need more Obi-Wans. So not going to be copping that today. No photo first sets as uh, the status quo is. And uh, I'm out of here. We have a quick unboxing from lego.com this morning. Showed up real fast, glad I got that one day shipping. And within the box, we shall find the gingerbread, not the gingerbread house, that was last year. No promos or anything, literally just the Elf Clubhouse. Gotta love when the box comes dinged up, that's freaking awesome. Amazing stuff there, Lego. Keep it up, keep up the good work. And I paid for this one so I can complain. And I'm gonna get my money's worth, this sucks. I should've just gone and picked this up. Would've got a good one. Now I have a dinged one, that's freaking awesome. I will definitely be contacting customer service. It's my third day back at the gym. Somehow that piece of wood has not snapped that has the half piece of wood, I don't know. Anyway, uh, could be the Celtics last day, so I'm repping some Celtics shoes and not feeling great about that, but we are off. I should probably go get that fixed too. Honestly, feels great to finally be back at the gym after six months, and it's always really dead at this time of day when I go, so really like that as well like there's like not a lot of people in there at all so i usually never have to wait for anything it's pretty great just about to film the or live stream mnr memes this is my setup for any of you wondering got the mic right up front got the chat over here got the reddit which for whatever reason isn't loading maybe we gotta refresh that i got the stream page which i'm not really gonna be using and then this which is gonna screen share the the uh reddit with my camera over right now it's just screen sharing what you see there obviously mm -hmm. 